my name's Alyssa from the Bruce County Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to experiment with action art. So for this activity you will need adult supervision um, because we are going to be painting with drills. So um, for this activity, it does get uh, messy, even if you're very careful. So it's important to cover up uh, your clothes so they don't get paint on them. Uh, I've put out an old uh, tablecloth so that if it spatters, then it's easy to clean up. Uh, if it's a nice day, you might wanna try doing this outside and then it will uh, save some time in the cleanup. But uh, other than that, you will need a drill and a paintbrush, a large piece of paper. Uh, I put mine up on the wall like this with uh, masking tape, but you could tape yours to a table so that it uh, doesn't slide around. Uh, you're going to need a tray with paint. I've just used an old uh, muffin tray that I've put the paint in. So uh, that's about everything. So we're ready to get started. So, this is the part that you're going to definitely need uh, some adult supervision. So uh, the part where the drill bit would usually go is where we're going to be putting in the paintbrush. So I'm just gonna stick that in like that. And then you just tighten uh, the chuck so that the paintbrush doesn't go anywhere. So it doesn't go flying when you go painting and make sure that's nice and tight in there. So now it's ready to go. So when you're painting and you have your drill, uh, it's important that you just hold on to the handle part. Don't touch uh, the paintbrush while it's spinning or you might hurt yourself. So just hold on to here and you could do some practice with the trigger. If you press lightly, it will go slower. And if you pour, pull uh, a little bit harder, it'll speed up. And so now we're going to dip it in our paint. And then we can see what happens when we put it on the paper. You can try making pictures. Or spelling out words. Or you can try using different techniques to mix colors and make abstract designs. Once you're all cleaned up from that messy experiment, I highly recommend this picture book. It is called Art and Max and it is by David Wisner. It is a really neat book where uh, Painting a portrait of a friend uh, turns into a big mess, but it's a big, beautiful mess. And you can borrow this book from the Bruce County Public Library.